Businesses are now dealing with large volumes of data from several disparate sources. The need for quick insights means that these businesses need to capture data directly from transactional systems so that they can use it for analysis and reporting at speed. But by using data directly from the source system, they run the risk of slowing down their processing times or even manipulating their data irrevocably. So how can you ensure that you're only transferring new data that isn't already present in your data warehouse? The key lies in extracting data incrementally. Since it doesn't make sense to transfer all the data from your source systems every time a small change is made, you can load your data incrementally through change data capture instead. This way, only fresh or modified data will be propagated to your data warehouse, saving your system from having to copy and move the entire batch of source records to the destination every time. Hi, my name is Farhan Ahmed Khan and I am a technical content specialist here at Estera Software. In this seven part series, I'll be taking you through the essentials of effective data warehousing from modeling your data warehouse to consuming data in BI tools. In today's episode, I'll be covering change data capture. Using change data capture is beneficial for organizations for several reasons. First, with change data capture, you won't experience spikes in load as data will be transferred in smaller portions. This means that your network will not be strained at any time and you'll easily be able to transfer data from source to destination. Secondly, with change data capture, you can be certain that your data warehouse is always up to date with accurate data. For your organization, this translates to faster and better reporting. Now, there are three main types of change data capture. Let's take a look at each one. The first type of change data capture you'll be covering today is log-based CDC. This type of CDC involves a transactional log in which each change or update is recorded. The data at the source is then compared to the data in the transaction log to see if there are any changes which need to be propagated to the data warehouse. Creating a separate log ensures that normal transactions in the source database are not affected as data is transferred from the source to the destination. So, for instance, if you're dealing with a database with millions of records on order details and the shipping status of a few orders changes every minute, you won't need to worry about the data in your source being affected as long as you're using a transaction log. The second type of change data capture we'll focus on is trigger-based change data capture. For this type of change data capture, you need to create certain functions to determine when changes need to be recorded. For instance, if you're trying to capture the instance of a database after a record has been deleted, you'll need to use the after delete trigger so that you can transfer only relevant data to your data warehouse. One thing you need to know about trigger-based change data capture is that in addition to maintaining a transactional log, a separate table will also be created to capture the changes based on each trigger. The creation of this additional table might increase latency to a certain degree and you might also miss out on certain changes in case the triggers are not defined properly. For this reason, it's essential to test out your triggers on a smaller data set to ensure that all records are being captured the way you want them to be. The third type of change data capture we'll be talking about is provider-based change data capture. For this type of CDC, database providers offer scripts which can be used to track any changes in different fields or records. Like trigger-based CDC, provider-based change data capture also involves retrieving data from the source database as changes are made. This means that you can expect a few delays in the load times when you're using provider-based change data capture. In essence, change data capture is all about populating your data warehouse with minimal manual effort and ensuring that all changes are captured in real time for faster analytics and reporting. With the built-in change data capture component, Estera DW Builder makes incremental data loading a breeze. In addition to creating and scheduling elaborate data pipelines to copy all new and modified data to your data warehouse without typing a single line of code, you can also transform your data with hundreds of out-of-the-box transformations to enrich your data and add more value to it. Minimize delays as you bring your data warehouse to life with Estera DW Builder's Change Data Capture capabilities.